these two little bugs. Uh, the one we it's like a, like a three point. And that one right there, you can tell what he is. Two little, two little bugs. Yeah, he's a spy for that one. So that one to the left is a, kind of like a three point. And that one behind him looks a little bit bigger, to be honest with you. But, uh, sure ain't got much hold. Big body deer, they're a lot bigger than that other one. But you can barely, you can barely even see the horn on that bit. It'd be an easy shot if they were one of those good ones. I don't think either one of those are the same deer. I really don't. I mean, could be, but I really don't think it is. The one that uh, ran those two does across earlier, just a little bit ago, they, uh, it could be one of those deer. I'm, I'm really not sure. But they're sure eating that clover right now, ain't they? they they're dead in that clover patch. In that clover patch, buddy. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, that's that's why we plant these food plots out here to give them the stuff they want to eat, and they love that clover. And I'm glad I I'm glad I did that one in the clover. Um, last year I started to do an all clover food plot and, and didn't. And this year I decided I'm for sure going to because they they really seem to like it. I know, well, I know they love clover, but they. Uh, they really do like that, 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 uh, that clover, my man, look at them, they're working on it. They, uh, work, they uh, walk right by this big food plot over here to get to that food plot. <laughs> so you know what that means. Oh, I, I know exactly what that means. Next year, this big food plot right here, it's going to be clover too. It'll be all, all I'll probably plant all clover in all three of them. Of course, I'm thinking about planting sunflower seeds or sunflowers on the part behind me over here. Just plant the whole thing in sunflowers. And that gives the deer some cover and plus uh, get, get some dove and there's still a few quail around, so I could probably pull some quail on there. That's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is good. That is good. That's awesome. That is great. Well, looks like they're back into the woods on the riverside over there. Uh, that was awesome. I uh, get to watch them eat in that clover patch up there. Um, so that, that gives me that gives me a good idea for next year. I think I'll plant most of the food plots in clover. Wow, all these deer moving around. 
who knows? I'm, I'm all hanging in here. Never know what the next one might have a set of horns on his head now. Never know. All right, guys. Y'all stay with me. It's warming up. We'll see what happens. Pretty good so far. Out there running around in that edge now. I'm sure that's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Small book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. About 220 yards right there. Maybe a little bit further. Maybe about 240. I could make that shot. We'll see. Well, that's not a deer that I would, would take. So, not here. You guys have seen my videos. You know I'll kill them like that in certain spots to get some meat. But um, in my spots where I, I know there's some good bugs hanging around, I, I'll let them little ones walk. I ain't got nothing against killing little ones. And I'll, I'll, I'll say at 90. I, I don't care. I don't have a problem killing a small deer. If I, if I want to kill a small deer, I'll kill a small deer. And, and I don't have a problem with you do. I don't care. You do what you want to do. I'll do what I want to do. I tell you what. All this is you on, on you see on the these comments, different places about uh, people who be ashamed killing little deer. Nobody said that to me. But I'm gonna tell you right now. If you do, you just wasting your breath, brother. Because I'm gonna do exactly what I want to do. Because those are my tags, and I can make those decisions myself. I'm a grown man. I can make those decisions, and so can everybody else. So if you have a problem with anything or anybody, anything that anybody kills, keep it to yourself. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Anyway, let's watch these deer and enjoy it. I don't want to get ranting and raving about when people want to judge other people's hunting. That's beautiful right there. That's beautiful right there. Right there. Oh, so there we go. Isn't that pretty? Both them deer walking up through there in that sunshine, shining off their sides. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. They're headed towards uh, that big ridge on the left. <laughs> that big ridge on the left up there, uh, it's, it's got a lot of acorn trees on it. I'm sure they're dropping heavy. And uh, I'm sure that's kind of where they're headed. Kind of. I think that's where those those came from. You know, there's, there's a good many acres. Oh, there's a bunch of acres to my right too on that on that ridge on that. But uh, I think there's probably more on that tall ridge to my left. And uh, I just enjoy sitting here watching whatever passes through. It's like it's it's an opportunity thing. What I you know I have seen. I've got plenty of of. Uh, footage on game trail cameras of the bucks and those here. I know there's a lot of them. I know there's, you know, and I know there's a, there's a couple of really good bucks that live in, on this property that, that I'd like to take. 
There's actually three, two big eights and a big ten. And that ten is a really, really nice ten. I saw him a couple times last year. Never didn't shoot him. And he was 10 point last year, but his time length wasn't that good. But man, he's exploded this year. He's probably five years old. He's exploded. So, I mean, if we get a chance at him um, this year, he'll be he'll be hanging on the wall if we get a chance at him. I, I did see one deer last year that was a monster. There was a monster across the spiral on last year. I watched him. Uh, but I, I didn't get, he was about 400 between 380 and 400 and, uh, just a little bit too far to be shooting at a moving deer actually a little bit too far to be shooting at a deer standing still but uh, I would I'd, I'd have took the shot if he'd been standing still but he wasn't he was uh, he was steady moving so Naturally, I didn't. Uh, I didn't try. To, I, I didn't want to hit him bad and not get him. I want, you know, if I was going to shoot him, I wanted it to be a, a shot that was, uh, you know, had a better percentage of making the hit good. So I also like hunting here because I can talk to you. I can talk. I mean, those deer are so far away from me. You know, I don't have to be real quiet because uh, and try to whisper everything you guys can't hear me but uh, because they're you know they're those deer right now are closing they're about 300 yards from me and uh, See that little buck rubbing his horns in that uh, in that tree. <laughs> see him? He's look at him. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's <laughs> he's rubbing his old rubbing his old head in that tree above him. I didn't have it on him. I thought I had it. I thought I had it on him. But he was standing right there. He's the one, the farthest one on the left. He was rubbing that old head up in that in that overhanging tree right there. I bet there's a scrape under that under that bush, that tree right there. I about guarantee you there is. Because he was he was working. There he is again. He's doing it again. See, <laughs> putting his scent in that bush. He's the man. He thinks he's the man. He, well, he knows what it's going to take to be the man. He's laying his scent trail out. Okay, okay. Looks me, yeah, I think he's scraping and peeing in the scrape right now. Look at him, rubbing him back legs together. No, he's walking. He's walking now, I think. So, yeah, I think he's walking. But that's cool. You know, those young bucks get started. Um doing that stuff and acting like a big buck and if nobody don't kill them and and they survive a couple more years three more years and they now that one he, he's got a big body so if he if he does good man he, he'd love to be the man because he's got a he's got a big old body he's a lot bigger bodied he had a lot smaller set of horns but a lot bigger body than that other one did not sure where they're at right now. I think, yeah, they're still up there on that edge. I guess I, I hadn't moved the camera, so I guess it's still, yeah, I see it in the camera. I'm going to just raise its head up. Um, that's cool. I, I, I told somebody, one of my subscribers, he's, uh, I think he'd said he had seen like 11 does this weekend or something. And uh, I told, and the statement I made was, it's a lot easier to see deer when you're seeing deer. And I, I think it's because you, when you're seeing deer, you're really in tune to looking for them and watching for them, and you'll pick up on them a lot quicker. 
if you're not seeing deer, if you're just sitting here, you're not seeing anything, a lot of times you, you just get a little bit uh, there's deer on top of here. Uh, that's a can't tell. I think that's a I think that's a doe. It's up there in the I'm gonna try it's up here. There it is. Can't tell if that's a doe or not, to be honest with you. Hey, look at the one. No, it's a buck. Yeah, it's a buck. Can't tell how much of a buck, but it's a buck. That's three bucks. Right here. That one's probably a little bit better of a buck than the other two that's already down here. Straight into that wood line. Come off of that ridge. I tell you, them acorns are holding them deer over on that ridge right there. That's for sure. Let's see what deer is getting in the wood. I think it did. Let's see what Yeah, that was probably a little bit better, but I don't think it was one of the one of the ones that I'm targeting. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't. And I don't see, I don't see these. I think that one might still be. I have to look. Let's go. See one of them. No, they probably moved.